afternoon, Rice and Pepper. Welcome to Bradford Fairy School and thank you for visiting us on the week of World Book Day. We are the Spy Breakers for Year 4 and would like to ask you a few questions about your work as authors and illustrators. Okay, well I'll start because I'm really easy. My name is Jem Packer, so that is my name. My name is Duncan McCoshin, um, and I used to work with someone who used to call me Mac the Knife. There's a really old song called Mac the Knife, and that's how I thought that would be a good name to use. Rather than running McCoshin all the time, which is quite a long name, I use Knife, which is shorter. We would love to know how you first came to meet him one another and how long you had been working together for? That's a really good question. I'll answer the first bit and then Duncan can answer on the second bit. So uh, we met through a mutual friend who was actually a flatmate of Duncan's. I, I went to a university and I had a friend at university who was called Rod and he had a brother called Gav mm -hmm. and Gav was Duncan's flatmate. So I met Rod in London he said, oh, come and see my brother and his flatmate and we'll all meet up. So we met up, we, we got so on, we up. became friends initially. And and we, we, that was many years yeah. ago, a long time ago. We've been working together for over 15 years. We started working in the 20th century in the 1990s. That's when we started. A long time ago, a long we time. We were born. Good, very good question. Mm. Do you find it easier to get inspiration from these stories by working together? Well, that's a very good question. Yeah, no, definitely. Because if, if there's two people working together, you can bounce ideas around. So, you know, Duncan does a sketch and I have a look at it and think, well, that could be this story, or if I have an idea for a story, Duncan can do some drawings. We might just come up with them together. So, definitely working together definitely. really helps us with the inspiration. We know your book, Badly Drawn Beth, has been nominated for a Laugh Out Loud book award. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, that's a, a new award that used to be called the Roald Dahl Award. And basically, what happened is a panel who was, that was made up of Michael Rosen and a comedian and author called Jenny Clare and a blogger from who does blogs on Minecraft. Yes, on YouTube. On yeah, YouTube. Nice. They basically read hundreds and hundreds of books and picked out the ones they thought were the funniest in different age categories. So our book was picked out and three other books. But then what happens is it's people like you who have to vote to decide which you think is the funniest. So you can go online and you can vote for it. So we've got no idea if we'll win it or come last. It'll be down to all the voters. But anyway, we hope people like it. That's a very good question. Where will you find our and all their expression cards? I think we'll find out on the 4th of, 4th of July. 4th of July, I think. And I think just winning in its own right would be enough of, of, of a prize. You haven't been told there's a prize, have no. you? No. no. I, yeah, have you ever won a prize, anything? Be nice, wouldn't it? No, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. a box of chocolates would be quite good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we go to a. We go, I think there's going to be some sort of ceremony where mm. we go and, and they'll be announcing the winner. That'd be quite nerve wracking, won't it? That's not for a few months. But very good question. What are your best tips for writing a good story? Oh, for writing a good story. Mm. Um, well, I think, you know, if you, if you saw our session today, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about characters, won't we? If you get a good character, funny or an interesting character, mm -hmm. then it makes writing the story much, much easier. I think you've made about that in terms of the drawing side of things. That's right. Having strong characters yes. helps, it helps with the inspiration. It does, them. yeah. All the other characters that they go in. And you've got to keep it exciting when we do exciting. We, hope, we try to keep our books quite funny as well. So there's a balance of making exciting, so you have to have a good plot, so people want to know what's going to happen, but also make it funny as you read. So you get all that blend in the Yes, that's, that's, you that's the trick. There. Yes. You have a selection of books of your books in the library. What has been your favourite one to write and why? That's a good question. Well, I think we'll, 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 each, um, we'll each pick one. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably start off by saying the, uh, the flea bag, the last flea bag, where it was like an Indiana Jones. Do you, have you seen an Indiana Jones film? It's, it's a bit of a parody of that because we've got to draw lots of like a really weird landscape. So mm. get, it's like he's in the jungle, but it's like a kind of magical jungle where the creatures come to life, the insects talk. That was a lot of fun to do. 
And then obviously our most recent one, we've done yes. like, we've and bad and John Beth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you badly John Beth. The first one, with the second one comes out in April, and there's a third one in September. So there's three coming out um, in all. Um, and that was a, a really different book because they're slightly longer, they've got a lot, lots and lots of characters in it. The style for me, drawing is slightly bit, is a little bit different. So that was a, a new challenge for me to do that, and that was exciting. This is all from us today. Thank you for answering our questions. We have really enjoyed your visit today. Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Been brilliant. We really enjoyed answering them.